Alright, I've had a request or a question from someone that saw some of my drawings. They want to learn to do some CAD work and they want to learn how to do 3D. So I sent a handful of my 2D drawings to them to practice. And then I'll do this video to show how you can make those into 3D. And get, clean some of this up here. Basically what you do when you're doing 3D, and I'm not an expert by any means, but the concept that I've gathered so far is you draw on the XY axis, and then you add depth by extruding along the Z axis. And you can move your XY axis to a whole bunch of different orientations. And by extruding and sweeping and other functions along the z-axis, you get the shape that you want. Alright, now, if, before you can... This is a 2D drawing that I did in DraftSight a long time ago, so there may be some problems in it that we'll have to correct, and I'll explain that as we go if I, if I find some. What you want to do is have everything you want to extrude as a polyline, and I'll show you how to make a polyline from your drawing. Now if you've used your make a circle function then it will already be a polyline. You can see when it turns all the way gray that's a polyline. Here just this one section turns so that segment only is a line so what I'm going to do is make it so that when I touch the edge of the knife that the entire thing turns gray. That's what you want. It means you have a polyline. So we'll go here to uh, modify Come down here and I'm going to edit polyline. Alright, so I'm going to select that. And now it gives me a prompt that says select a polyline. So I'll just start here. Left click on that. It says object selected. Down here at the bottom of the page it says object selected is not a polyline. In the box it says do you want to turn it into one? Yes. So I'm just going to tap the enter key. And I want to come over here and I want to join that polyline. And then it says select the other objects. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to do a massive selection. See if it'll select it. Alright, so now I've selected that whole knife profile. I'm going to hit the enter key. Hit the enter key once more. Let's see what happened. Okay, see now what I'm talking about. Anywhere I touch the knife, the entire profile becomes gray. But here it isn't, so we've got some problems in this cutout area. Let's see if I can find them. Usually what happens is you may have the line is broken somewhere. Actually, probably what happened is that since this line, since this area was not touching this area, that there was no way for it to join. So I'm going to go through this process again. Select, click on that polyline. I'm going to select this one. Press the enter key, turn it into a polyline. Select join. Click that. That, that everything that I want to join okay enter enter all right oops so right down here I don't know if you saw that when I selected this everything highlighted as being joined except for this area so let's zoom in going on right there at that joint. Looks like that's joined. Let's see here. Escape. I don't know what's happening right there. So that's what I'm going to do is just erase that. Just for learning purposes. Now what I'm going to do is make an arc three-point arc just right on the end 
I'm gonna come out about there. And one right there. Let's see. Escape. Alright, close enough. <coughs> Alright, so I just replaced that to see if that uh, corrected the problem. I don't know what the problem was. Sometimes there'll be an open there. Um, I don't know all the answers. Alright, so I'm going to select that. I want to join with that one. Enter. Enter again. Alright, so that worked. Now I've got that as a polyline. Let's check. Um, let's make this a polyline. If you don't make a polyline, then your line will extrude, but it will look, it won't extrude. It will just extrude as a as a single flat surface, and not as part of a solid, which is what I'm after in this case. Okay, I'm gonna repeat the P edit. Uh, select that. Yes. Enter. Join. I'll go ahead and select the entire. I thought I was. Select the entire thing right there. Enter. Enter again. All right, that worked. Okay, so now we've got everything ready to go um, 3D. And so what we've done, just to review, the Y-axis is up and down, the X-axis left and right, and the Z-axis is the axis that is coming out of the screen towards me and into the screen away from me. Okay. On the track wheel, you can push the track wheel down. So I hold down the shift key and the track wheel, and then you can move on 3D. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and select the extrude function. Select objects to extrude. I'm going to do that one, that one, that cut out, that cut out. Uh, there, there. Okay, then I'm going to hit the Enter key to say that my selections are complete. And then it gives you an opportunity. You can extrude positive or you can extrude negative. I'm just going to move this up here and extrude 1, which will be just like an inch or something. It'll be an inch actually on my computer. Int, put enter typed one into that box and then hit enter. All right, so now those are extruded as solid shapes. I'm going to extrude again. This time I'm going to select the profile of the knife, hit the enter key, and I only want to extrude. Wait a minute here. Hit the escape. Because I have a polyline, it appears. And I should be able to extrude the polyline. Alright, I'm going to modify for some reason. I'll select that. So close it. Okay just in case the polyline was... Oh, I had an error right there. Oops. I'm going to delete the whole knife. Undo that. Undo that. Okay, I found the error. Undo that. Undo that. Alright, right here have a little drawing error right there okay let's try that let's give that a shot all right <clears throat> I'm gonna lay this down a little bit so I'm gonna shift with the mouse button and lay it down a little bit so I can be positive what's gonna happen here 
going to extrude this piece. Uh, so I hit enter. Yeah. And then I type in the value, 0 0.1875, enter. Okay. I'm using the shift key. Get back here where I can see good. Now we'll do the subtract. This is the subtract button. Select it. Select the piece you want to keep. Press enter. Select the pieces you want to delete or you want to subtract. Okay, I'll we'll subtract those. Enter. Alright, so now I'm going to go to a top view. And this is what you have. You have your knife with the holes in it. And I'm going to go to the home view, which is kind of a sideways isometric. You can zoom in on it with your track wheel. And it shows the knife, 3 sixteenths of an inch thick, with these holes. It shows your cutout. And so you can and it, or so you use the shift key, you can look at it, you know, flip it around and look at it all different directions with your shift key and your track wheel button. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you next time.